hit that time for myself. I can't be serious. Deep thoughts with Dana. another vlog. It is currently Friday afternoon and I'm going to take you along with me through my Friday and my weekend. I am about halfway through my work day right now and I always try to have kind of lighter days on Fridays because I work so much during the week. Um, so I'm going to take a break to get in a workout and then it is literally 65 degrees outside so I'm going to try to get outside at some point today. I have a couple of little social things coming up this weekend that hopefully I'll be able to take you along with me for as well. Thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy the vlog. did a hit cycling class on the bike and then did upper body resistance training it was like shoulder and arms focused which is definitely my weak point so that was great now I'm just gonna get cleaned up and I think I'm gonna try and head outside to catch some of this sunshine all right so here is the outfit for the day I had to sit down and do some more work but now I'm actually gonna get myself outside which I'm really excited about it's still super sunny out I'm wearing these um, high-waisted kind of straight leg jeans, a little cropped black button down, and I'm just gonna wear a hoodie over it just because I think it's um, warm out, but it's a little bit windy. And then I just got these new sunglasses. I actually ordered them off of Amazon. I never spend a ton of money on sunglasses because I like, you know, they're, they sit in the bottom of tote bags and get kind of, <laughs> you know, filled with sand and all sorts of things over the summer, so but I love these. I think they're super cute. I got them in this, uh, in black, and then I also got them in like a tan kind of pink color, and they're like quickly becoming my, my new favorites. All right, so I am going to, I'm not sure if I wanna let my hair dry naturally today or blow dry it. I think I might let it dry naturally. What do we think? I feel like it's drying pretty nicely, so why not? I'm just gonna pack up my stuff and, I think I'm gonna bring some poetry books with me and a notebook so that I can do some writing myself and a blanket and probably my headphones in case I wanna to listen to a podcast and go ahead and head out for my little afternoon outside time. So this is the spot that I come and lay out my little blanket and read my poems. It's a churchyard, but it's public, so they let us use it so i kind of use this space as if it's my backyard i'm honestly so glad that i came out here the sunshine and just the fresh air feels amazing it's been a super busy week and like i've been actively trying to create more time and space for myself to slow down a little bit because when i do that is really when i have the best creativity the best creative ideas and innovative ideas for my business and all of that sort of thing and I feel like it just gives me time to like spend time with myself and kind of process everything that is going on but it's also like not easy you know just to come out here it's a Friday afternoon it's during my work hours but I really didn't want to miss this gorgeous sunshine so I had to you know decide and create that time for myself to come out here because at any given moment of any day you know are emailing me, need something from me for my nine to five job. Sorry, interrupted by church bells, though they're pretty nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like on any given day, any given time, someone needs something from me for my day job. You know, I'm getting tons of emails and messages for my 
business, which I'm trying to grow my book editing business. And then I'm getting emails and, you know, updates from my dancers and my dance company. And this is all to say at any given time, there are at least 10 to 15 things that I could be doing to, you know, forward myself professionally at work to grow my business, to continue creating incredible art with my dance company and fostering that community, to foster my friendships or my relationship with my husband, you know, to um, have a healthier body and mind through eating well and exercise and movement. If you're looking for the right time to find you know, a little bit more slowness and stillness, there's never going to be a right time. It's, you know, it's not going to happen if you're a busy and kind of ambitious person like I am. Um, you have to be the one to take the weight of the world off your own shoulders. Nobody else is going to do it for you. So I'm really glad that I got out here today to do that. And I'm just going to be reading some poems. And also I brought my notebooks that I can write as well if I feel like it. But honestly, the goal is really just to chill out and spend some time with myself so if you need the reminder to do that if you're super busy and ambitious and you know risking getting burnt out and all of that stuff go find some quiet time for yourself take yourself on a play date you deserve it as my husband always has to remind me that I, <laughs> I deserve to rest um, you do too so for my little park date now it was lovely i needed it honestly i did some reading and did some writing and then honestly just laid down in the sun in like silence for a while it was exactly what i needed um, but when i got back with a package waiting for me i put in an order with nike recently because specifically because i'm getting cleats for my indoor cycling bike i use it so often and i think that that would really level up my game and they were on like almost a 50 percent sale so i got cycling like one of the best indoor cycling cleats available for like 60 65 bucks um for context most of them are like 100 to 200 dollars so those haven't come in yet, but I threw in this other pair of shoes that was on like a really good sale because I have like one pair of, um, of sneakers, like gym shoes, running shoes type of thing. And they are a disaster at this point. I really needed new ones. So these were like 30 something dollars. It's the shoes, super simple, black and white. Nike running shoes. I actually really like these. I think these are going to be perfect and they'll, they'll serve their purpose. They look comfy as well. All right, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more work done and then try to chill out a little bit because I have about an hour and a half before my friend comes to pick me up. We're going to um, a little gathering that my dance company, the dance company that I direct is having this evening at one of the company members' houses. It's like a pizza and wings type of thing. So I think it'll be really fun. Um, and we're watching like a dance movie. I'm literally such an introvert. Like right before it's time to go, I'm always like, mm, I'm tired. I don't want to go and then I always enjoy it when I do so forcing myself to go do the social thing um, and I know that I will enjoy it when I get there so hashtag introvert life let's do this Good morning, my friends. Definitely did not vlog when I went to hang out with my friends yesterday. It just wasn't the vibe. It was like very chill. We had pizza and wine. It was really lovely. Today, I am spending the morning kind of cleaning up around the house. I put on a podcast on Spotify on the TV and I'm just like getting everything together, open all the windows, you know, getting some fresh air in here. Kind of a little bit of a reset day for me. Um, I know most people do that on Sunday, but for me it's usually Saturday just because it's the only day that I have like 100% off all day. I know some people really like to watch like cleaning and organizing because it makes them feel like calm um, and kind of helps with their anxiety and stuff like that. I'm definitely one of those people that I like to watch stuff like that. So I'll hopefully get a few clips of my kind of cleaning organizing to put in here. I feel like I've never shown you all my bedroom because my husband is actually also a content creator and this is kind of his corner over here um, for gaming and streaming. 
So I usually let him do his thing in here and then so I don't really show you the bedroom much when I'm vlogging but I am going to be changing these. We originally put up some like posters from movies and stuff that we liked but I think I want something more neutral up there so I've been looking on Etsy for like some artwork that I might want to get for that area because I think some more like neutral artwork would really kind of bring the look together in here. So as you can tell I already cleaned this room. <laughs> there was like a large pile of clothes on the floor here and um, the vac the floor really needed to be vacuumed and now it's all nice and clean. <laughs> camera battery died so I stopped showing you my cleaning for a second but it's looking really nice in here nice and fresh cleaned up the bathroom looking good in here and then kitchen's mostly clean but still kind of in progress because I'm soaking the grates that go over the stove so then there's some dishes on the side here that can't be in there but otherwise all nice and clean in here as well. Just got back from my little walk. I feel like the world just has a really good energy right now because like everyone's in a good mood because the weather is heating up and it's sunny. Like when I was walking around, you know, people are playing music, they're out for walks with their friends, people are <laughs> laughing and smiling, there's kids running around. It's just a really good feeling to kind of see the world like coming back to life um, in the spring. I shared in my last vlog that I am uh, practicing Muslim and have been fasting for the month of Ramadan which you know I think is a good thing but at the same time I'm definitely excited for a time when I can you know go out and get a coffee or grab a beer with a friend on a weekend when it's nice out like this um, those are the things that I look forward to the most so it's almost three now um, I was cleaning for like five hours today I would say so now I really need to get some work done. I'm a little bit behind on a freelancing project. I'm probably gonna grab my laptop and work a bit on some freelance book editing. I do need to conserve my energy a little bit because I'm going to a party later, which is very strange for me. I don't do that too often, but one of my close friends, Maria, is having a party for their birthday, way belated, but for their birthday. And it's like space slash alien themed, so um, that like starts at like 9 p.m., <laughs> which is so funny. I haven't done anything like that since like college is when we used to start going out at like 9, 10. Makes me feel old, but also I like the life that I have now so much more than the time that I was doing that. So like it's worth the trade-off. But anyways, I am a grandma now and need to conserve my energy so that I can actually like go enjoy that party later. So, uh, what are we doing? Drinking. <laughs> okay, what are we actually doing? <laughs> Drinking. We're going to a party for our bestie Maria. Which they is like, are, I don't know if they're 25 or 26. 25? Yeah, I think they're turning, they turned 25. <laughs> the Demogorgons are near. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't be serious on camera. Today I have Just pretend it's not there. <laughs> You're like... They're, they're, they're spoiled videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. but I put... Used to be perfect. Used to be worth it. Keeping you with me. Thought it would hurt me. Like when you did me dirty. Now you ain't even worthy. I'm in the big league. Focus on big teams. Shut up for me. Quick up and breathe. Manifest in my dream. So 
so I skipped um, vlogging on Sunday because um, on Sundays I always have dance rehearsal for the company that I direct and I've shown you that a few times so I figured I would skip it and now we are back into the work week. I work in fundraising for my day job and I have a big like giving day campaign that I'm planning coming up so work is a little bit intense this week. I also have a bunch of freelance deadlines um, so honestly a lot of my time this week is just like work 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 lots of laptop work. I always feel like I don't know what to vlog when that happens because my life is pretty boring. I work really hard and that's what I spend most of my time doing. So last week I went into my office which is the campus for the art and design college that I work for and directed a video shoot. Um, and I've been up early today because the videographer sent me rough cuts of that. So because I'm directing it, I get to choose like what to cut, what to keep, send notes, stuff like that. This is the one I've been working on this morning. Now I'm at a good stopping point with work and it's about 11 a.m. I am still in my pajamas because I've been working since I got up today, but I'm gonna put on some workout clothes and get in a little workout. I think I'm gonna hop on the bike and then probably do um, some lower body resistance training since I just did upper body recently. <laughs> Oh my god, that ended up being one of like the hardest cycling workouts I've actually ever done. So I'm still gonna do some legs, but I'm probably gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm gonna do the essentials like a squat, an RDL, a lunge, and a hip thrust, and probably call it a day from there. But geez Louise, that was hard and super fun. <laughs> showered cleaned up hair has been blow dried feeling like a fresh brand new person and then i just had a bunch of meetings for work i just had like two three meetings back to back um everyone is so busy right now because it's like the end of the semester and i work at an art school but yeah now i'm literally exhausted so <laughs> i think i'm gonna take like a brief break from work maybe watch an episode of something and then i have a bunch of freelance work that i need to get done so i'm gonna try to uh, fit that in even a little bit during my nine to five work day. One of the perks of working from home, nobody's watching over your shoulder. So I got my shit done today and, and I know that I have those freelancing deadlines that I need to hit. So, all right, let's see if I can show you the outfit. Very classic Dana outfit today. We've got this cropped black turtleneck sweater and some high-waisted like wide leg jeans. Whole outfit is from H&M. That's where I get like most of my basic pieces from because they're they're actually really high quality but they're still affordable it's kind of like in that middle ground somewhere um the only other places that i really shop are like zara asos and like thrift stores <laughs> that's literally where i get all of my clothing from so yeah that's the outfit for the day something that i want to chat about because i've been thinking about it a lot recently is just kind of the pressure that we put on ourselves to succeed. My husband and I were talking about this yesterday, like we realized that we both have this fear of getting older and it's not because we're afraid of like aging or like old age or anything like that. It's the, it, when you bring it down, it's actually the fear of like not having accomplished enough. And it's like objectively, I can look at my life and say like, oh wow, you've accomplished all of these things. But I think it's because I grew up in an immigrant family and maybe just that like in addition to being in an immigrant family and a Muslim and Arab family that like being on the cusp of millennial versus Gen Z I just feel this like incredible need to accomplish things and then when I do accomplish those things I like don't actually feel very fulfilled by the accomplishment if that makes sense. So this is, I mean, it's something I've been working on. I've been like healing that part of myself pretty significantly in adulthood and recognizing that I need to be doing things that fulfill me, not just things that will lead to another accomplishment. I've spent the past couple of years aligning the ways that I spend my time with the things that I genuinely value instead of chasing accomplishment. 
but at the same time there's still just like that nagging feeling always of you haven't done enough no matter how much you've done you haven't done enough and someone is accomplishing more than you and faster than you and all of these things so i just wanted to say if you know if you're like me and you're someone that grapples with this concept and you feel like you really put a lot of pressure on yourself to succeed and succeed quickly um, and in quantifiable accomplishment sort of ways just kind of understanding and reminding yourself like i have to remind myself that at the end of your life you're going to remember experiences you're going to remember people so in reality if we want to accomplish anything really what we should be chasing is in what ways can we accomplish what we need to accomplish in order to configure our life around creating these incredible experiences and getting closer to these people to me that's kind of what leads me to this idea of like you know building a business and my freelancing work and building something for myself and all of this stuff and i mean even the if i have any drive to build wealth what is it for it's so that i can have ex the experiences that I want so that I can travel around the world with my husband it's so that I can spend time with the people that I love you know it's not necessarily because I want to accomplish something specific within that work yes I want to impact people with my book editing and I do impact people with my book editing and that will always be important to me but at the end of the day what am I going to remember it's going to be that I was free enough to travel the world. I was free enough to spend time with the people that I love and I'm not going to leave this earth with that kind of feeling of regret that I didn't, you know, uh, spend enough time doing the things that I love. So yeah, if you're kind of searching for that purpose for yourself, I, I found kind of like a key for how I got there for myself and within my business was to ask this question. If I never had to worry about making money again, how would I spend my days? What would I be doing? What would I be focusing on? What would I want to achieve if I never had to think about money ever again? So then you find that answer, you take that nugget of wisdom sort of from your soul and you know, back engineer it, back calculate it into, okay, so now that knowing that that is the purpose I want to pursue, how do I create a life in which that is possible and in which I can use this thing to earn money? Wow, I just talked about that for a lot longer than I thought I was going to. <laughs> I just wanted to say don't put too much pressure on yourself to achieve things and it kind of turned into like life philosophies. Deep thoughts with Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana, I should make that a segment. I always have something that I'm percolating on in my mind. This also makes me feel a little bit lost in like the sometimes in the content creation space and particularly YouTube vlogging because I'm like, I'm not sure if you all want to hear this or if you just want to see workouts and food. <laughs> but like I'm a person that, you know, I'm, I'm a poet and a philosopher and I love language and I am constantly thinking deeply about things. And I'm also really into like self-development and stuff like that. So I'm always working on myself and unpacking things from my past and all this sort of thing. So I would love to know if you're actually interested in Deep Thoughts with Dana, if it's something you like to hear in vlogs, or if you'd rather me keep it a little bit more surface level and just focus on, you know, the things that people focus on in vlogs. Workouts and food and clothes and all of that sort of thing. I don't mind either way, just tell me what you think and I'm, I'm happy to go in that direction. All right, I'm gonna go take that little break from work that I was talking about. I'm gonna watch an episode of like my comfort TV show on the couch and then hopefully we'll get right back into it if I can find the motivation to do so. finished product of dinner today. I made a Thai peanut noodle stir fry with tofu, broccoli, baby corn, um, shiitake mushrooms, rice noodles, and a sauce that I throw together. I'm pretty sure I made this on the vlog before so I didn't like walk through it step by step with you this time but I'm going to go eat this, probably put on some Selling Sunset Yum, that is so good. 
So I'm going to go ahead and conclude the vlog here and go enjoy my dinner. If you made it all the way to here, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.